School districts in our area, they're working to solve the now years long problem of pandemic learning loss. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough is here in studio to explain why educators say it's not a quick fix. Well, Jarvis, the problem is some school districts in our area are so big that certain parts of the county are more impacted than others, making it harder for school systems to develop a one size fits all plan to fix the problem. It's been nearly three years since COVID-19 forced schools in our area to shut down for weeks, if not longer, leaving teachers and students scrambling to adapt to teaching and learning from home, at the same time creating a learning loss still being felt now. Well, you know, we have plans in place to address those particular things, and, and that too, you know, you're not going to solve it in uh, one year. Uh, you're not going to solve it in two years. Jefferson County Superintendent Dr. Walter Gonsolin says you ultimately have to approach it on a case by case basis. From school to school, from student to student, from community to community. It just depends upon how hard that um, community was hit um, as it related to that. How many days were, were children not in school? Uh, versus being face to face because we noticed there was a difference with that as well. In Birmingham City, teachers are also working to help resolve the so-called pandemic learning loss. The president of the Birmingham American Federation of Teachers says part of the problem stems from people in general just thinking everything would go on as normal, including the learning process. I don't know why we just assume it was just going to continue when every other aspect of just a human being, uh, you, you saw people die, they got sick, that has an influence on all of us. So why we assume that when it came to students, they would perform academically just because we just expected it as if they're robots. Some argue too much of the responsibility is falling on teachers to come up with a solution. They're expected to work miracles and bring these kids back up to speed where they're supposed to be. And we didn't get here overnight and we're not going to get out of it overnight. If anything, they've walked back into the classroom with more on their shoulders than they've ever had before and less respect. And one thing that's hindered the recovery process is the fact that every district in the state and nation is faced with some sort of teacher shortage, leaving some classrooms without a permanent teacher and instead a substitute. Jarvis.